Life can get really busy, especially during the weekdays, and sometimes the last thing we want to do is to cook. So today I'm sharing with you easy, healthy meal prep ideas to help you simplify your week. When it comes to healthy eating, a sure method for our family is to plan ahead. By creating a meal plan and then taking a few hours on Sunday to prep and prepare those meals really helps save our family money and saves me a lot of time. When I have a fridge filled with pre-made ingredients, I am far less tempted to eat out. I don't meal prep the same meal for every night of the week. Instead, I choose to pre-make my ingredients and that gives me tons of options for meals throughout the week. By having all of my ingredients prepped and ready to go in the fridge, this saves me so much time and hassle throughout the week. We're going to prep six ingredients today that combined with some fresh produce and perhaps a few items in your pantry, we can create some pretty amazing meals that take no time at all. A little planning goes a really long way when it comes to meal prep. I have planned out five different meals and I have all of my ingredients ready to go. Beans are incredibly versatile and extremely affordable, especially if you're feeding a large family. I'm choosing to cook um, dried beans, but if you're running a little short on time, you are always welcome just to use canned. I soak two cups of beans in water overnight. The next day, I rinse the beans well, and I put them into a pot of water with salt and onion and a carrot to give it some flavor. The beans will increase in size quite a bit as they start to soften and absorb the water, so be sure you add plenty of water into your pot. Simmer the beans for approximately 45 minutes or until the beans are soft enough that you can pinch between your fingers. Strain the water from the beans. Once they are completely cool, I like to put my food prep items into an airtight glass container. I love glass containers because it makes it so easy to see all of my prepped ingredients just ready and waiting in the fridge. I'll leave a link below in the description for these glass containers. Marinated tempeh. It's always really nice to make sure that I have a protein that I can mix in throughout the week. I'm a vegetarian and so we're gonna be marinating and baking tempeh today, but you can choose any variation of protein you enjoy. It can be fish, chicken, or meat. The marinating sauce is two tablespoons apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons maple syrup, one tablespoon olive oil, one teaspoon sriracha sauce. Dice the tempeh into bite-sized pieces and toss it in the marinade and leave for 30 minutes using a slotted spoon and pop in the oven at 425 for about 20 minutes. You're going to want to bake the tempeh until it's golden and a little bit crispy on the edges. Roasted veggies are one of my favorite things to add in my weekly menu. It's really easy to just chop up some veggies, throw in a little olive oil and garlic, salt and pepper, and roast in the oven. Today I've decided I'm going to do broccoli, red onion, and red peppers. I'm going to add some minced garlic, a couple of tablespoons of olive oil, salt, and pepper. Toss this in, and then lay out a single layer on a baking sheet. I'm going to set these veggies aside until they can go into the oven along with our sweet potatoes. My family loves sweet potatoes. They're really versatile. We can put them in a ton of different meals and they're filled with nutrition. First, I will wash the sweet potatoes and trim off both ends. Then I'll slice my sweet potatoes lengthwise, about a quarter of an inch thick. Spread out the sliced sweet potatoes on a parchment lined baking sheet. And I like to rub a little bit of olive oil and put a little salt on these before they go in the oven. 
My oven's heated at 425 and it takes both the roasted vegetables and the sweet potatoes about 25 minutes to bake. Be sure your vegetables are completely cooled before you put them into your container for storage. And sweet potatoes sometimes have a little bit of moisture left in them, so I will line the bottom of my container with a towel to absorb any moisture that could still be in the sweet potatoes. I really like the rich kind of nutty flavor of wild rice, but you can choose any grain. It can be white rice, brown rice. Cooking your grain according to the directions on the package, and I'm making enough wild rice for two meals today. Hard boiled eggs are fantastic because you can use them in your breakfast or for a snack or in salads and they're really affordable. How I choose to cook my hard boiled eggs is I boil my water first and then I'll gently place my eggs inside the boiling water. Once my eggs are in there, I immediately set my timer for eight minutes. Eight minutes is perfect to keep my yolk just a little bit soft. And you can do any time you want to either make your eggs a little firmer or softer. Okay, so I'm ready to start combining my ingredients to make my meals for the week. And this week I'm going to also need a couple of bags of fresh spinach, cheddar cheese, and avocados. The first meal is loaded sweet potatoes. Placing the sliced sweet potatoes onto a parchment lined baking sheet, top with beans, and shredded cheddar cheese. I pop it in the oven just enough so that my sweet potatoes and beans are warm and my cheese is nice and melty. About five to 10 minutes at 350. Garnish with any toppings that you would normally put on a Mexican dish. You can do spinach, cilantro, avocado, salsa, even a little bit of sour cream. Spinach salad, which is fantastic for either a lunch or a dinner. Your choice of greens, we're using spinach today, sliced hard boiled egg, avocados, sliced tomatoes, roasted veggies, and if you like bacon, this is also wonderful to add. I make a simple handmade dressing from olive oil, balsamic vinegar, salt, pepper, herbs, and mustard. Simple dinner. Taking the rice, tempeh, and roasted vegetables. Then I'll add some of the sweet potatoes and just dice them up. Heating up the entire plate, either in the oven or microwave, your choice. And dinner's ready in less than five minutes. To add a little flavor, our family likes to put on some liquid aminos. Taco bowl. Preparing a simple taco bowl by first taking the beans and reheating them on the stovetop with some seasonings like garlic, salt, pepper, smoked paprika, and chili. In a large bowl, I'll put the base down with the wild rice, adding our seasoned beans on top, and anything else you would enjoy. I like spinach, tempeh, avocado, and a little bit of chipotle sauce. Avocado toast is simple, quick, satisfying, and I usually eat avocado toast around brunch, but it's great for breakfast, lunch, or even a snack. First, I mash my avocado with a little bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper and toast a slice of my homemade bread. After spreading on my avocado mash, I sprinkle with a little tahini and then slice hard boiled eggs on top. For a bonus meal, if you ended up with a little bit of beans and rice, I like to take these and combine them with some spices and make some delicious burritos with cheddar cheese. By spending a little bit of time creating a meal plan and prepping some of your ingredients, this will save you so much time and energy throughout your week, really simplifying 
your weekdays. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, I ask you to please subscribe and give it a thumbs up and maybe check out some of these other videos around me on mindful living. Thanks.